Hello again, this is Suzanne from Coffee Cup. Today, I'm going to teach you how you can create a carousel using the Bootstrap framework. Using this bakery website as the example, we'll go ahead and add a photo slider up at the top. Now, when it comes to these components, I've had a lot of people ask me how I know which attributes and class names to use. well, the specific frameworks like Foundation and Bootstrap and Materialize, they actually have the class and attribute structure posted on their web page. So, for example, in the carousel we're going to build today, um, we see the markup here. Um, every time you see the div is basically a div container that we'll be using in the project. And then we'll just um, insert the same ID, class, and attributes that they have listed there. We can see from their code example that the first item to add is a container element to the canvas. It's going to include a special ID name, the class name carousel and slide, and a data attribute of carousel. To recreate this in Site Designer, uh, we'll go to the content pane and select a container element. We'll drag and drop that onto the canvas where we want it to be. You can use the element pane to select a specific area where you want to drop that container. And of course, you can always drag and drop it from the element pane as well if your container moves to the wrong location. Then we'll go over to the styles pane and we will add a special ID name so we can identify this carousel. So I'm going to name it Carousel Example. With that assigned, we'll go down to the class and we're going to give it the class name Carousel and a second class name Slide. As this is what was indicated in the Bootstrap markup. Next, go to the Element pane and scroll down to the Data Attribute section and we're going to give it the data ride attribute with a value carousel. With the parent container in place, we're now going to add a second container element and nest that inside the first. Looking at the bootstrap markup, we can see that the class for this container will be carousel enter. So back to site designer, We're going to the content pane and drag and drop the container onto the canvas right on top of the first. And then we add that class name carousel enter on the styles pane. Okay, now according to the bootstrap code, uh, the next content that we're going to add will be the actual slides. We're going to add yet a third container element, um, and inside of that, we'll hold the actual image for our slide. And for the example, we'll actually have three of these since I plan to have three slides in my carousel. Going back to the app, we're going to drag and drop the third container element into the carousel parent, and it's going to get the class name carousel item. Giving it that class name will make it disappear. Um, So if we go to the element pane, we can use the little eye indicator to show the hidden item. This way we can continue styling it. So back to the content pane, I'm gonna drag a picture element and drop it into that new container. And that picture element will receive two class names, uh, the first one being D block, and the second is W100. That carousel item container with the image is the first slide. Um, to add extra slides, we can either repeat that same process or I'm gonna take the easy route by using the duplicate button on the styles pane. So I'm going to duplicate the carousel item container twice. 
so that I now have uh, three slides total. On the element pane, I can expand the containers and select the individual picture. And below, I can then insert my source. So from here, I'm going to add a new folder that says Carousel Images, because I like to keep my, my resources nice and organized. So I'll create a special folder for them and add them all at once. Okay, and then I can choose my individual images one at a time. And I'm going to repeat for the other two, um, other two slides. With the resources in place, the next step is to apply the styles on how I want each slide to appear. So on the styles pane, down under layout, um, I'm going to change the max width to none. This way those images span uh, full width. Use the eye indicator on the element pane to show and hide those um, extra slides. Now I want that colorful donut image to be the first slide within the carousel. So um, I'm going to select that from the element tree. And on the design pane, I'm going to give it a second class name, uh, Active. With that done, we are ready to see what it looks like on the browser. Before we do though, I wanna take um, a moment and do a close up of the element tree. Um, this way you can see exactly how it is structured. So to recap, we have the first container, which is the, um, the main parent, the carousel slide. The second container, you'll notice that it's um, nested in there because it's kind of indented on the tree. And that is with the class name carousel inner. And then nested within that, because again, it's indented, are three more containers, one, two, three. And they're all in the same um, indention level. Um, and these are the three slides, as you can tell by the class name carousel item, carousel item. Um, if we expand those carousel items, then you see the pictures that I have added in there. Okay, I'm done rambling. Now let's see what it looks like online. So I'm going to go ahead and preview it. And there we go. The bakery website now has a really cool um, image carousel up at the top. Okay, next is time for the bonus round. I'm going to show you how to add um, indicators to go to the next slide uh, manually on click. To start, I'm going to the um, element tree and I'm going to make sure to select the parent container that holds the entire carousel because we want our button indicators to be nested within that parent. Once you've selected it from the tree, um, go to the content pane and add a button link element. Okay, you see it's right there below. Now, if you go to the styles pane, uh, Bootstrap automatically gives it a default class name for the button. We can go ahead and delete that and um, we're going to instead give it um, the class name we're going to give it the class name carousel control prev p-r-e-v you'll see that button immediately change and now it's overlaid on top of the the carousel then we're going to give it three different attributes over on the element pane um, the first is roll with the value button. The second is data slide with the value prev, P-R-E-V. And the third is area hidden with the attribute value true. With the attributes in place, the last thing to do is um, we need to link that button 
to the actual gallery itself. So we're going to use the same ID name for that parent container, which was carousel example. With that previous button now in place, we'll repeat the same process to add another button link element into the canvas. And it's gonna get basically the same properties with just a little minor tweaks. Um, for example, the class name on this one is going to be Carousel Control Next. And on that Elements pane, we're going to give it the attributes Roll with the value Button, Data Slide with the value Next, and the attribute aria hidden with the value true. And of course, we don't want to forget to add the, the link in that href box, which would be carousel example. The last thing to do for these buttons, if we double click on the, the text that says button link right there on the carousel, we can change how we want the indicator to look. Um, I see commonly the carrots, the um, greater than and less than carrots used as a, as a common indicator. So if I triple click and change those words to the carrots and then you can style it however you want it to look. I like it to be kind of big so I'm going to change it to about 40 pixels. Really it just kind of depends if you want to add color or make them kind of transparent. It's up to you. But make sure to do them to both buttons so that they look the same. Once you have your styles in place then we can go ahead and you can publish and we can see what it's going to look like online and test it out. And here we go, you can click on the indicators, I can click the next, and it'll go forward, and I can click the previous, and it'll go backwards. A successful gallery, bootstrap carousel created.